In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I know those words are often the closing words of the priest as he or she blesses us after services. But in this particular service, All Saints Sunday, I think of them throughout the service when we remember the saints, all the saints of God. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Apparently, My grandfather used to say that whenever his daughter, my mother, asked him what he wanted for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? asked my mother. He would say, all I want is the peace of God that passes all understanding. His answer always marveled me, as it may have marveled my mother. She heard it throughout her childhood. And those words are so good for children, for us children, no matter how old we are. Peace and understanding. Even children know what peace is. No fighting, no worry, no anxiety. That deep sense of steadiness that it's going to be okay. And even children know what understanding is and they know that there are some things that we just do not understand. We do not understand why we are not supposed to eat all our Halloween candy at once. We do not understand why the drive to our relative's home takes so long. And then we do not understand how sunrises and sunsets can be so glorious. And we do not understand why it is that we love someone. And we do not understand when some people die. There are some bad things we don't understand. But there are also beautiful things that we do not understand. I think that the peace that passes all understanding is one of the deepest phrases in the Bible. And so it's one of the phrases I use most often when I try to offer comfort in times of death. Most of us here today have been close to death. Many of us here this afternoon, we are here because someone we love died in the past year or years ago. We remember how difficult it was to describe that experience of death. Maybe the death was expected and peaceful. Those deaths can indeed be peaceful. But maybe it wasn't. 
Maybe somebody died unexpectedly, or far too young, or way too tragically. I realize that words, words do not always give us peace. Words can fall short. Words can even irritate us, upset us, even anger us, especially when people die. That's why it is beautiful to have other things besides words in times of grief. It's good to have flowers around at times of death. It's good to have music like this music of foray today. It's good to have food because when words get in the way of peace, sometimes actions and sounds and incarnations can be better. Still, words can be helpful too. I use these words often. My prayer for people, for everyone who has experienced death, is that we have the peace that passes all understanding. Many of you have heard us say them. I don't understand it, and you don't understand it. But may God grant us that peace. There is a peace that reaches deeper into us than just into our minds. May we have peace. Yes, words can fall short, but words can also be what we remember. The peace that passes all understanding. You know, I never actually heard my grandfather say those words. In fact, I never really knew that grandfather very well. He died when I was young. What I remember is what my mother said about him. I remember his words as told to me by my mother's words, by someone else's words. I'm glad somebody, my mother, remembered him. We are here today to do precisely that, to remember people. It's good to remember my grandfather today with all the saints, and it is good, so good, to remember all those whom we bring here today and whom we all remember. Yes, say something holy about your loved one today. Remember them. If we remember them, then our children will too, and their children will too and their children's children will too. We call these remembrances the communion of saints. They are the people who touched us 
in deep ways, in ways that were often beyond our understanding. But as we remember their touch and their words, they show us again something about God, something that passes all our understanding. We believe in the communion of saints. They become real when we remember them. They join us at the altar with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven. And there we have peace. A peace that passes all understanding. Amen.